just come around this way and feel her ears across like this. See? Try that. You feel them? Yeah. Sort of feel bristly. Yeah. Central guinea pig rescue. Hey, hello. Yeah, I got the towels. Hello, apologies. Excellent. Let's just have a quick look first. Got it. Now, you'll have to remind me of their names and just you stay there so no one drops out. Yeah. Let's open your these up. Dawn. This is Marshall. Dawn and Marshmallow. So this is Dawn. Dawn, what a cutie. It's time to do your ears. How have they been going? Holding good, yeah. Yeah? Good, yeah. She's got a little lymphatic lump up there. So she might have had a cold or a cough or something. Yeah, I noticed that she had like a runny nose. Has she? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, that just gets a bit inflamed when, when they have something like that. <laughs> Look at that. Good deal. Yeah. Need a little bath and a nail clip. But she's looking really good. Really, really good. Dawn. Awesome. And marshmallow. And marshmallow. Let's have a look. So we're just checking out what we're going to do with them. And then we will. Are you using the ivermectin on them? Ivermectin? We haven't. No? We haven't. Okay. I think it's time to do that. Are you using Revolution? For puppies and kittens? No? Okay. <sighs> We're going to That's get you so using cool. some ivermectin then. There are two products yeah. that we can use for antiparasites, but yeah. they're just at the point where we need to do that yeah. because then we can see around here. I'm just going to, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right, little girl. I'm just going to turn her around this way. So she's a smooth coated girl, but you can actually see sort of dimpling in her hair, hair pattern. That's just the start of how it happens. So when we see that, we know it's time to do ivermectin. So perfectly on time to come here. We'll just sort that out real quick. So we're going to give them a bath and then we will... Um, the kids will worry about the nails. Yeah, the nails we will treat. I'm just checking that there's nothing more. And then again, that with her. Definitely mites, we can see it here. Oh, it's happening. So, if I just agitate that, which she won't like, what you'll see will be hair coming out, but it'll have skin attached to it. Can you see that? Yeah. So it's got little bits of skin in there. So, just at the right time to give them mite treatment, which is good. Excellent. So, we will do that. We're going to bath them, do their nails, ears, and uh, Check them over. There's nothing else that we. Oh, check. Just check. She's okay. Down. I know. Just a bit of a complaint. Okay. Fine. Just checking. There's no stones or anything like that, and there isn't. So that's really good. We're going to bath her and treat her. Yeah. So who's first? So we're just going to. <laughs> This is where we get wet, isn't it? <laughs> Not a fan of water. Just going to do right up to her ears. Like this. And this is Maliseb which is a fantastic product, which just eradicates any fungal spores that's in the coat and helps them enormously. A bit of dirt stuck down there, hasn't she? It's on the back of her coat. Look at that. Oh, I'm missing, I know. Put your feet in there. You've got to keep her head out. Um, and the reason is we don't want her panicking where she can breathe it in because that's dangerous because they can't, they're not like us, um, if they breathe in water, it's called aspiration and usually they die from it so we don't want to do it. 
I've just done a silly thing and used all the water in here and you've actually meant to have half. <laughs> so, oh. so we can just brush through the coat. Any little loose bits that need to come out. There's a few bits down there. Oh, no. Yeah, here's the sun in full. Fully with it. This is a So you're back at school? Yeah. Yeah, how's that going? It's good. Yeah. We're not in the same class. Oh, okay, but you're friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, we both go to the same school. Oh, no way. That's fantastic. Well, Isla wants to get a guinea pig too. Yeah. She has to talk to her mum. Good, <laughs> yeah. Well, they make the best pets. They really do. I do have chickens. You have chickens, yeah? And she also has a dog. Fantastic. Well, animals are great all around. Oh, she is so She's cute. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute. Okay, you can see that on there. And I'll just pretty much turn you back that way. That's it. Because we're filming this. Did you know that? Okay, so this will actually go on YouTube, on the YouTube channel. Have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on there. That, that means guinea pigs will, will be famous and they'll be on YouTube. <laughs> they'll be YouTube guinea pigs, that's right. So this is the same, this is Mala 7 water I'm just using. But there's just a bit of stuff that's stuck in these ears. Doing proper ear clean for her, so she'll be able to hear you fully. <laughs> yeah, you've absolutely come at the right time because there's a bit of fungal forming just on the ears, and the antifungal we've just put through the coat with the ivermectin will follow up with will keep them tickety boo for the next few months. So that's it. So all you need to do to maintain them. But they're going really well. They've got lots of. I can tell they've been eating well. Their size is great. And all those things. That's wonderful. They love their food. They love their food. What's their favourite? Corn. Corn? Oh, corn. Corn's fabulous for them. Yeah. And Yeah. Especially Yeah, when they need lots to drink and it's hot, cucumber's good, isn't it? Yeah. Just like koalas. It's got loads of waxy build up there and a bit of fungal. So we'll just get rid of all of that. Oh, you little girl. Get that sorted for you. Okay. Start one. Yeah, you can see, if you have a look in her ear, can you see how crusty it is? Just see if you can see. Can you notice that? Oh. See why it's crusty? Yeah. So all we're doing, all I'm doing is just wiping that out. Like you would your own ears, but we're just getting it out of there. And, uh, it always shows first, like always their ears. They're a great indication of what's going on with the coat. Because their feet walk on the ground and whatever's on the ground, they push up to their ears and around that area. So yeah, so this is the right time for you to come back, which is great. It's like she knows she's coming there. Yeah, she's a bit different now, isn't she? <laughs> Once they have it done, they sort of know and, you know, they're okay with it. There you go. Much better. You do your nails for the work. Do you sell those nail clippers? Here? We do actually, yeah. I think we've got some here at the moment. Just have to check. We've had to reorder some things and I'm not sure where we're at. Yeah, it's easy for it. Yeah, this little girl has got a little bit of foot fungal going on. So her feet have gone in the maliseb and water, but um, just so that you know what you're looking for, see down around this toe, it's sort of like scaly skin again just between the digits 
You can see it sort of lifting off there. She's just got a bit more fungal on the feet than, than anywhere else. And of course, when she wipes her face and her ears, it gets up there. So that's how it transfers. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just checking them out. Checking them out. Hey, yeah, you're all good. Let's do your other fish. Looking good. Wiggly girl, Miss Wiggle. Yeah, she's had enough now. Good girl. Oh, there's two more. Good. Okay, she can dry off in here. If you'd like to give her a cuddle. <laughs> you got her? Okay, Miss Molly. Just go. She's not, not the water. <laughs> it's okay, Molly. She's like, let's go. Okay. Oh, she's bound to kick her wiggle there. They don't mind it. It's more just being really quiet and calm while you do it. Her ears really need doing, so you can feel that. Do you want to feel her ears now? Do you want to feel her ears before? Just come around this way and feel her ears across like this. See? Try that. Can you feel them? Yes. Sort of feel bristly. Yeah. Would you like to see? Do you want to feel that way? No, you've got to go across like this, flat fingered. And you've got to have flat fingers. That's it. I want you to feel sort of oily. It's not like your hair. Okay. So we're going to feel it again in a minute. And then you'll know the difference. So we're just adding a bit of the maliseb up there, all over. Does she have fungi um, in the? Uh, they actually will both have it. Yeah. Um, and the reason is they're living together. So one guinea pig just team tends to get a little bit more than another. Um, but it's definitely there. So these are like the first signs that you think, oh, a bath is needed and light. And so you're perfectly in time. You're doing exactly what you need to do. They're really good. They're a good weight and size. So what we do is we just make them feel all clean, trim everything up, and we'll groom their little toads. Please <laughs> <laughs> do No, we're just comparing size by how much we get in No, 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 he's just a, he's up there being nursed and he's come to meet a buddy. So I've traveled quite a way to to find Oh, buddy, they're looking at Gustav first, because Gustav's older. And, um, there we go, nice and clean. Get your little towel, Miss Moon. And then while we wrap her up, we can do her ears first. So easy peasy. It's a bit different to last time, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, if you clean out their hutch when you go back, if you haven't already, so they're going with fresh bedding again, and uh, then everything's nice because they're all nice and clean. Yes, yes. Oh, you cleaned it yesterday? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely fine. Oh, there's lots of little ones over there. Thanks, <laughs> space. We have so many in care right now. Thank you.
during the lockdowns, they were like, yeah. they really uh, appreciate the pets, even them. So, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it was really good. Um, we closed the shelter mostly in lockdown, but there's actually a lot of surrenders happening now as a result of people just trying to get any pet more than just working out which one was for them. Um, so they didn't put a lot of thought into that some because I think a lot of shelters were either closed or had adopted out. So it was a crazy time. I mean, it still is. <laughs> what we're going through right now is, you know, it's, it's very different to any other year. Don't realize the amount of work. Like, you need to really oh no! Care for them. <laughs> it's not just a case of guinea pigs coming in, and uh, like there will be details of this rescue we did over the last part of last week. Um, but you know, there's a lot of treatment, one-on-one -on -one time, feeding. We've got one at the moment on critical care. Like, there's lots of things that are happening. You know, we've got one with a wound. <laughs> there's, there's so much. That's okay, all the medicines and things that we're doing. Okay. But it's around the clock. Right, that's a whole lot better. You know, we're going to be feeling great. Sophia, go and sit in the shade. Take Anna in the shade. Hey, thank you for that. Yeah, she likes in the book. Yeah, a quick, quick attempt. <laughs> She missed it. Ah. <laughs> Very too fast. Lots of training and avoiding that. <laughs> She's just letting me know. Don't cut those. <laughs> so I'm going to put you there like that and then I can cut them perfectly. See? We can literally just take our time. With black nails like this, the key is that you squeeze. I'm squeezing on her now, she's not budging, so I can cut. So you work out where the length is, and it should be there. Squeezing, she's not moving, cut. Does that make sense? I'm squeezing with this, I'm actually applying pressure yeah. with the clipper. Good. And then I know I'm cutting them exactly where I need to. This one's a bit easier, because you can see a little bit more. But the same thing, we can just, we always squeeze anyway, because if they've ever had a nail bed injury, they can still have nerve feeling a lot longer than, than we would want it to be. Good. There we go. She's done. Did we pop ivermectin on her or not? Was I don't think the... I did the ivermectin behind the ears. I don't think I have no, I put so. it on her yet. We'll do it now. So, little girl. Actually, I think we'll put it on when you're ready to go. Just dry them off a bit more. And when you, it's really up behind here that we're, we're wanting more dry. Yeah, every wet bit of wet. Yeah, just um, dry off there and then we'll apply the ivermectin on the ears. But you can feel how soft those ears are now. You get your sister to feel that later. So okay. All right. So Miss Molly, you're done. There we go. 